All right, time now for Consumer Confidential with KTLA 5's David Lazarus. Hi, David. Happy Friday. Thank you. Except this first topic, inflation, still here. Still here, but the stock market is soaring today, and this is an element to this. At last check, the Dow up by about 750 points. We'll have closing Whoa. numbers in the 1 o'clock hour. A driver here is a key inflation gauge that came out today showing that, yes, consumer prices remain worryingly high, but might be easing by just a smidge. And Wall Street is interpreting that as, well, maybe good timing because next week the Federal Reserve is expected to hike interest rates by another three quarters of a point. But this latest inflation stat suggesting that maybe sort of kind of we've turned a corner perhaps will incentivize the central bank to be more bold in signaling that okay we're gonna have another big rate hike next week but after that it's going to start coming down. That's what traders are gambling on today. That's why the market is so enthusiastic despite a report showing that inflation still remains very high. Another driver today is Apple. Told you after the closing bell yesterday that the company reported better than expected quarterly earnings. Company stock is up by about 8% today. People are feeling really good about iPhones. Amazon, on the other hand, not so much. They had an earnings miss yesterday. At last check, their stock was down by about 8%. Again, we'll have closing figures at 1%. All right, some big profits for uh, some of the big oil companies. Not a surprise, but when I give you the numbers, folks, you're not going to be happy about this. Now, of course, you know that big oil has to be doing well because we've all been basically paying through the nose at the gas pump. And where does that money go? It goes into the pockets of big oil. How much are they making? Well, today out came the quarterly results for big oil. Exxon Mobil reported quarterly profit. Again, this is just three months worth of profit of nearly $20 billion. Chevron reported profit of $11.2 billion. Shell reported profit of almost $9.5 billion. And according to the International Energy Agency, profit for the world's big oil and natural gas producers is set to double this year to a record $4 trillion. This obviously is a huge transfer of wealth from many consumers to the pockets of big oil. Is this going to change anything? Probably not so much. Will this increase calls for a windfall profit tax? Yes. Will that ever pass, at least in this country? I doubt it. Mm. And we have to talk about Elon. We do have to talk about Elon. We've got coverage elsewhere today, but this is a very interesting angle and worth pursuing. Musk has already signaled now that he's uh, the, the boss of Twitter that he's going to be making changes, including a loosening of some of the rules that affect content moderation. Well, our friends in Europe have wasted no time in saying, yeah, but over here on the continent, not so much. Why is that? Because Europe has much tougher rules when it comes to the digital space than America does. And in fact, a new law called the Digital Services Act is scheduled to take full effect by 2024. And what that does is require, among other things, for big tech companies to have robust <clears throat> content moderation and to crack down on any hate speech or any incitement to violence. And as we've seen from other tech companies, including Facebook, including Apple, it's easier to comply with Europe's tougher rules on a global basis than to have different rules in different countries. So what the, I think Elon Musk is about to discover is having his way here in the United States might not work around the world, and he might need to rethink a little bit how he's going to be playing nice with the other kids.